Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we've got a super interesting one for you. We're gonna be providing a follow-up on Genprex. This is a stock that we've covered previously on the channel. They're focused on finding solutions for diabetes and cancers, and there's a lot to be excited about at this organization. Now before we get into all that, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of Genprex, what you think about this space overall, and your thoughts for the back half of 2023. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right, today's video we're going to be taking a look at Genprex Incorporated trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker GNPX. Now this is as of close on Thursday, June 29th. You can see they closed out the session at 82 cents US. They were up about 4% on the day. After hours, relatively flat. And if we pull up a six month chart on this company, you can see they've been trading in this 70 to 80 cent range approximately for the last three months. And our last coverage on Genprex was about a month ago and they were trading in that 83 to 85 cent range. So with that being said, and for those of you who missed our previous coverage on Genprex, I wanted to go to the company website. I'll leave it linked in the video description below and give you guys a quick summary of what the company is all about. So again, really focused on reprogramming the course of cancer and diabetes in prospective patients and using their proprietary technology and delivery systems to come up with new treatment alternatives for these people. So they really break it down into three key pillars here, their technology, their pipeline or development pipeline, and the experience of the management team. And we're gonna talk about each one of these pillars as we move through today's presentation. Now the article we're gonna discuss at the end from the marketnewsreport.com gives a really good description of Genprex. So again, as a refresher here, you guys, this is a clinical stage gene therapy company focused on developing life-changing therapies for patients with both cancer and diabetes, which unfortunately impact a huge proportion of our population here in North America. Genprex's technologies are designed to administer disease-fighting genes to provide new therapies for large patient populations as I just alluded to, with cancer and diabetes who currently have very limited treatment options. So you can see they utilize a proprietary non-viral Oconoprex nanoparticle delivery system. So that's the proprietary delivery system I mentioned, which the company believes is the first systemic gene therapy delivery platform used for cancer in humans. And then their Onoprex platform encapsulates the gene expressing plasmids using lipid nanoparticles which is administered intravenously and then taken up by tumor cells that express tumor suppressor protein deficiency in the body. And then of course their lead product candidate, which we talked about in the last video, Recorsa, which is also now being evaluated as a treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, also known as NSCLC, with each of the clinical programs receiving a fast track designation from the FDA or Food and Drug Administration, for small cell lung cancer. So again, as I said in the intro, a lot going on with this organization and a lot to be excited about as a potential investor. Now shifting gears a little bit, we're gonna jump over to the investor presentation and talk about two of the key investment highlights that we brought up in our previous coverage. So as alluded to on the last slide, the company is focused on cancer or oncology and diabetes through their multifaceted drug development pipeline and intellectual property portfolio that we just looked at on the last slide. So on the oncology side, they've got that non-viral gene therapy platform, two FDA fast track designations, which we just mentioned, two lung cancer trials that are currently enrolling and near-term data readouts on the horizon. Now on the diabetes side of things, they've got their two drug candidates, which address both type one and type two diabetes the novel infusion process that delivers genes directly to the pancreas, the potential to stabilize both glucose levels and reduce insulin requirements, which have been shown in non-human primate studies, and again, near-term data readouts that could be a potential catalyst for the company. And this is just another look at that robust drug development pipeline. So the Onoprex platform up top, which is that nanoparticle delivery system focused on oncology. You can see the various different Recorsa platforms again at various different points within their pipeline journey. 
And on the bottom of this page, you've got the diabetes candidates, again, showing where they're at in terms of that development pipeline. Now where this gets really interesting, if we jump over to the marketnewsreporting.com website and we take a look at this article, we actually touched on this in our last video as well. They lay out five reasons why they're super excited about Genprax over the next few quarters. And the article is titled, Dawson James analyst Jason Colbert thinks this little known biotech could have over 273% upside potential from its current share price. Find out why right now could be the best time to start your research on Genprex Incorporated. Now we already looked through their investor presentation. We talked about some of that recent news in relation to the FDA fast track designations and their technologies. And if we continue to scroll down, we can now see the five reasons laid out in terms of their bullish thesis. So number one is the analyst opinion. So earlier this year, the director of research at Dawson James, who's a guy by the name of Jason Colbert, initiated coverage on Genprex. He gave a $3 price target, which indicates 273% upside potential from their opening price on the 31st of May, which was 80.32 cents. So very close to our Genprex is currently trading at today. Their second point is in relation to the massive market potential in terms of the global gene therapy market, which was valued at $2.9 billion back in 2021 and is expected to reach just shy of $16 billion by 2030. So that's a compound annual growth rate in excess of 20.2%. Now the third point is one we talked about in more detail in our last video, but talking about those exclusive licensing agreements. So they signed with the University of Pittsburgh, which granted Genprex a worldwide exclusive license to certain patent applications and related technology. So really a key differentiator for the company. The fourth point is in relation to the FDA fast track for their lead product candidate, which again is Recorsa. And that one again is being evaluated as a treatment for non-small cell lung cancer and for small cell lung cancer. And then the fifth and final point talks about the promising clinical results that they're starting to see. So they recently announced in Q1 of this year, very promising data from their gene therapy for type one diabetes. And those results showed reduced insulin requirements and improved glucose tolerance, supporting the potential for advanced human clinical trials. So first up is a look at that research report from Dawson James. You can see they've now initiated coverage on Genprex with a $3 price target. And Dawson James isn't the only firm that's shown interest in Genprex. Noble Capital Markets also covers Genprex and they recently reiterated a $5 price target after the company announced some of the big news and milestones we just discussed. We talked about the massive TAM or total addressable market for this type of technology. You can see that compound annual growth in excess of 20% from now until 2030. And as you look closer into the article, you can see there's currently only a few market players that are dominating this gene therapy market. So with targets like cancer and diabetes, these are huge opportunities for up and comers like Genprex Incorporated. They then talk about the private investment trends we've seen in the life sciences sector or industry has grown exponentially, whether you're looking at cell therapy or gene therapy. And the final point I wanted to bring up is just in relation to the experience and quality of the management team that you're getting from Genprex. So Rodney Varner, he's the chairman, president, and CEO of this organization nearly 35 years of legal experience with large and small law firms as an outside general counsel of a NASDAQ listed company. So a ton of experience and connections. And Rodney has really surrounded himself by an all-star cast with individuals who have decades of experience in relevant industries. So for those reasons, you guys, again, I think this is one that's definitely worth throwing on your watch list, trading very close to where it was last time we reviewed the company on the channel. And I think this one really could be poised for some big upside if a lot of these bullish catalysts come to fruition. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, especially if you're already holding shares of Genprex. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. We'd love to have you as part of the community. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.